good evening ladies and gentlemen first of all thank you for that introduction and it's wonderful to know that uh, the technology has kept up and you've got all the information how many movies where what uh, but i don't know what i'm doing here this evening i hope you guys are having fun and uh, you know in this uh, conclave and technology and people or leaders in their field i'm just you know fortunate to be here this evening and uh, happy to be here so i'd like to first start by thanking uh, et and the team to have thought of me this evening that maybe i'll come and add something or entertain you guys or find some information uh, so thank you all for being here this evening i'm not too sure what uh, stories to tell because when i was asked you know when you come what will you talk about what can you talk about can you talk about leadership because we have all the leaders in the in our uh, gathering talk about legends that you played with i'm fortunate enough to have that's one thing you missed out fortunate enough to have played with mr kapil dev who needs no introduction sachin tendulkar from childhood who needs no introduction so these are the legends that you generally think that you talk about uh but i thought yeah, let me use this occasion actually i'm using this occasion as a uh, a special occasion to talk about a cricketer only who's legend in his own uh, way uh may, but maybe forgotten maybe forgotten in certain ways not not his cricketing abilities won't have been forgotten uh but where what why why he become why is he a legend for, for me as i don't know I, how many of you know of ranji have you heard of ranji so i see about 8 10 12 hands 20 hands at the most how many of you amongst you would know who is ranji where is he from what is the story about ranji anybody any of the ladies because shiga ranji right so i uh, okay now if i take it further it'll, you'll there'll be a lot many more hands that will come up because it's become simple have you heard of ranji trophy yeah. right so so you all heard of ranji trophy but in modern day times times like this where there's so much information available the one trophy that everybody seems to know about who's who's ranji where he was from what is his story nobody knows so i thought you know let me share a story of a legend that is not living today because tendulkar is living a life kapil paji is around sunil gavaskar the legends of our times are living their life what will i tell you some story about them so i thought i'll you know share a story of a young boy who's 8 9 years old who gets adopted you know it is not easy as a child when you're 8 9 10 just to understand you know what it must have taken to become what he is 8 9 years old never heard the word cricket comes from a small little town called sadodar which has only 700 people living in that village at that time goes on to become ranji and you know what the ranji trophy is but it will take really long if i go into deeper into that story so that boy was also from a small town you know we make it big these days you know technology is allowed you know and information especially how it's distributed around that oh dhoni was from a small town i mean ranchi compared to sadodar is like a new york compared to gurgaon so but we think oh small town boy has come now then somebody who being adopted was something that is not accepted in today's terms imagine then so all this happened he goes to england learns the game becomes the cricketer and becomes this great ranjit singh ji jadeja who eventually then the trophy was named after him and then his nephew whose name is which trophy anyone dilip singh so ranji's nephew is dilip so the information and technology and data that ranji had got passed on there to dilip and then from dilip to next to next to neck and we are now in this world of technology that you know we feel we have all the information so i'm using this opportunity because the other thing that i was asked was what are you doing now there was all these story so what i've been doing now and working towards is to celebrate ranji and his cricketing thoughts there's a coaching manual printed in 1897 which i'm trying to revive because it happens to be 150 years of ranji's birth this year so it's a 
a jubilee celebration the book was called the book is called the jubilee book of cricket which was printed in 1897 the first print happened then and he had put all his r and d into that and now that i'm working on it i feel so ashamed that i wasted 50 years of my life to learn all that was already written in there because when i was trying to create this book i don't think i can even add 10% for 15% to what has been put together 100 years ago so so this is a story of a legend but it will take you many many days if i had to go deeper into it just the connect that why i picked ranji and is is another thing because as i said ranji singh ji had no children he had nephews one of his nephews was dilip singh who played cricket and the other nephew was my grandfather and so that's how we come down and the rnd of cricket which is the celebration of jubilee brook of cricket will be four generations of rnd from us which, which should be ranji and dilip also or rnd as in research and development of four generations of living this life of cricket and loving the game of this great cricket game that we all uh, enjoy I, i presume a lot of us enjoy this sport and uh, as anirban joins me then we'll talk about all aspects of cricket that you'd like to talk this was something that i wanted to present so you can understand where i come from and how i look at this sport and what this sport means to us for four generations we've been living this any business houses here who've been doing business for four generation nobody asks them ki aap business mein kyun hai ji चार जनरेशन से बिजनेस कर रहे तो कोई नहीं पूछता बट क्रिकेट चार जनरेशन खेलने के बाद भी अनिर भान मेरे से ये पूछता है आप क्रिकेट खेलने के लिए इंस्पायर कैसे हुए <laughs> तो सो दिस इज अ लिटिल बैकग्राउंड दैट आई वांटेड टू पुट अक्रॉस एंड शो यू अनदर साइड ऑफ अ गेम दैट वीव इंजॉयड फॉर फोर जनरेशन येस द गेम इज नॉट द वे इट वॉज the game has evolved as life has evolved the technology has evolved but fortunately for us the basic of this game is still the same it's still 5 and 1/2 ounces leather ball still it's 22 yards that it has to be bowled over so the physics hasn't changed that's why the game hasn't changed much what you can do with that ball and what you can do off the pitch may change depending on the pitch as you all understand but what happens in the air what is possible how far can it travel there is physics that can't be defined so fortunately that's still there but yes technology has made a impact into this game in olden days you had to remember which bowler bowls where how he bowls what he does in modern day times you got 10 coaches to tell you where somebody bowls so technology is being used in the sport in many ways so we'll talk about this uh, and i guess anirban will join me or are you joining me <laughs> I oh, I so wish me. I could say yes. No, but especially with that introduction that you gave, I think you should also join us. <laughs> I so wish. <laughs> I hope I'm not right. going to bore Ajay. people. <laughs> We uh, absolutely admired the choice of subject for inspiring us as you started off. As much as we admire you, please allow me to invite on stage Anirban Roy Chaudhary, as you already said, the assistant editor of Brand Equity. Please welcome Anirban on the stage. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, who's going to be in conversation you. with your own, very own Ajay Jadeja, ladies and gentlemen? And I, I thought I almost lost my job to you, but thank God I got the chair. What a what a lovely talk about Mr. Ranjit Singh ji, and thank you for sharing it with us. At what stage did you realize you belong to that family, and <laughs> and what it did to you the moment you thought that cricket to me is my father? I. the latter answer i'll give you aaj bhi i don't think cricket mere baap ka hai because cricket kisi ke baap ka nahi hai this you because i i think aur ye game ko agar aap dekhoge so the greatest names that you think of in cricket and batting would be now we are talking 100 years right so we'll use wherever we can so bradman people accept as the greatest aur hamare zamane mein to gavaskar sahab they both will prove that ye kisi ke baap ki nahi hai because bradman in his last innings he used to average 99 point whatever it was he knew that he, walk, he was walking in if he gets four runs he'll finish with an average of 100 right and he's all his career he's done whatever he wants the man couldn't get four runs zero pe out ho gaya come to next generation when television comes technology changes दे से इसलिए शुरू में तो कोई भी आउट हो सकता है पहली बॉल पे लेकिन अगर आप सेट हो बैटिंग कर रहे हो ओनली इफ यू मेक अ मिस्टेक यू कैन गेट आउट सुनील गावस्कर इन इज लास्ट टेस्ट इनिंग्स 
is batting on 96 Correct. but he also gets out absolutely so it tells you that ye kisi ke baap ki nahi hai so i have never felt that <laughs> fantastic fantastic wow so you know it's not only me moderating the session with him we'll take all of you to a nostalgic ride and it's my promise but before you do that you know we have to we have to ensure you are paying attention so i have a quick contest we are going to talk leadership to the most influential leaders in the cio community that you all are and i want you all to make a guess how many times do you think we'll use the word leader or leaders in the course of this conversation you don't need the mic just scream the guess how many times anybody 15. We have one gentleman saying 15, one gentleman saying 17. How much? 20. They don't, they don't you know, disagree with each other a very long time. Anybody in the 40s or 50s, no? Zero. We won't say leaders. I've just said it once. You lost it, ma'am. Anybody else? No, but it's not just you saying. You have to count yes, me both, also. Both of us. You didn't say it yet. No. So still zero. St okay. No, no, no. Anybody. We try and do it like that. Today. Anybody. Anybody <laughs> says leaders, it gets counts one. We are at two. Okay, done. Let's, let's continue with the conversation. Yeah. Uh, you know, who, who are the leaders that you played with? You know, you played with some of the greats of the game, and you have led some of the greats of the game as well. How, how, how you know, a leader influenced you? Is there a story that you can share where a leader actually had a meaningful impact in your, in your cricket, the way you were playing it? Or maybe when you were leading, you have a story where you made an impactful, you know, message to a, to a, to a cricketer you were leading? Of course, I mean, it will make an impact, but... Let me first make a little observation of leadership. Like, you know, you have leaders in your company, you have leaders in all aspects of life. There are some leaders who are elected by the people. And I don't mean by politically elected, that, you know, there could be a group of, uh, you know, a company here who may have different hierarchy, but when they're going out in the evening to a bar, they might pick another leader at that time. So that's an elected leader. I look at that as an elected leader. So that's a different leader. Then there are selected leaders. So selected leaders are like what we have in cricket. I don't know how it, you know, in corporate world also, I guess it is the same. You're all part of a team. One morning you get to office and the super boss from USA has said, you know, now the gentleman here is going to lead the Uber in India, right? So now this leader, you have no choice you have to listen to. So cricket may leaders, you never choose. You, you are chosen in a team. Yeah. And that team, whoever has chosen you, has chosen that same leader. So that respect for that leader starts from there and then. So each leader that you played with did teach you something, for sure. Great. Great. Now, favorite. Now, you know, to specifically name, like you said, I was blessed enough to have uh, spent time with Kapil Dev. Yeah. Uh, I was, what, 15, 16 year old. He comes to me one day at the ground and says, Hamare saath khelne chalo I mean, imagine... 16-year-old Kapil Dev, 1987, I'm talking. You know, at that period, I'm 15-year-old, and this is Kapil Dev saying. So, so I'm blessed to have spent time from there, and all through the journey, almost hand-holding me in Ranji Trophy, getting me to, you know, get my first 100. It took me three years. Yeah. And then to play for India with him in a match, standing there, in the middle of Eden Gardens, I don't know how you were around in 93, where there's a Hero Cup. I don't know if you people remember. Absolutely. Yeah. And Hero Cup, or most of these cups, you'll, if you actually look at this game, na, you see the cup and see the uh, investments that come into those companies from then. 87 to today, we can talk about that later. So in this Hero Cup, middle of Eden Gardens, in a semi-final, last over has to be bold. There's a discussion going on. Kapil Dev, Sachin Tendulkar, now the great Sachin Tendulkar, Ajay Jadeja, who's never been great, now sitting here. And, you know, so these, these were the kind of leaders that I grew up with. That you know the distance between Kapil Dev and the rest of the world. Yeah. Your age, everything, and has brought you up. But still had you in that conversation. Correct. So I look at that as the most inspiring thing. That as a leader, being such a successful leader in his own field or in wherever, that's okay. That's what you've done. That's your, that's like scores. You know, that's your record. You've scored 100. Nobody, you don't need anybody to say, hey, 100, but I have well played. But that's a fact, what he's done. But after doing that, then to be able to in real time, ready to accept that. And I don't know if uh, anybody remembers, because I would remember my games 
like how you remember every presentation and every uh, project that you guys made, that he didn't bowl that last over. Yeah. And he wasn't the captain at that time, but he was leader, right? So, I'm, so to have people come and have a conversation, give their ideas, treat the young players in the team as equals or even superior. Do you have an idea that can be take us further than what I'm thinking? Absolutely. So, so from Kapil Paji's point of view, that, that's one story that has always stayed with me, that is such a great man, in the middle of a game, last over has to be bowled. How can he even think that, you know, Kapil Dev should not bowl? Yeah. Or he didn't bowl after that discussion happened and people standing in that discussion are kids like me and Sachin in there. Fantastic. So, to accept that, I think that is a quality that I, if a leader has, and I'm sure in your fields, if, if you, you know, call the kids who just joined last mm -hmm. month and, you know, ask them whether you want to get their opinion or not, or chai pila ke, yaar, batao, yaar, this project's coming up, what should I do? Oh, to sari zindagi aapka murid ho gaya. Aap suno na suno. So, life is not much different in corporate world and cricket. Brilliant. You know, the moment you said hero cup, I saw Mr. Bhar's hand go up. And, and let's take him to a more nostalgic ride. Can we have the AV, like first video, please? Just play the video. Let, let, let's, let's relieve those moments. Don't live in the past. <laughs> oh. See, I told you. Take him out. Limpa carried to the line, and isn't he delighted? First century in one day international for Ajay Jadeja. He's fallen short a couple of times, but he is absolutely delighted. And what a great... We talk, we talk about challenges a lot in our, you know, in, our, in our corporate world, and often we are asked by people that how do you, how do you address this? This is a big challenge. We were playing, you know, worlds, emeralds, probably the, the, they used to call the whistle of death and everything at that time, and you were scoring a century. How do you, what was the feeling right after you got the century? Oh, I don't know how to explain it to you, because it's like, jisne sharab nahi pee, usko kaise bata hai, sharab ka nasha gaya. Right? अब अगले दिन सुबह उठ के जो सर दर्द होता है वो कैसे समझाए किसी को कि भाई ये मत पिया कर सुबह ये दर्द होगा but challenges and you know dreams वाला तो I would say you know if you always dreamt of being with a young lady young man whoever you were wish to be and that's what you've always wanted to do when that moment comes it's what you've been waiting for correct so and, but if you've never dreamt of that, then when that moment comes, then probably it's a challenge. Ki, yaar, main kya baat karun? <laughs> Isko kya puchun? Naraz to nahi ho jayegi? Ya ye gussa to nahi ho jayegi? Ya gussa ho jayega? You know, either way. But if you've always been waiting, then though you have already ten lines thought. So, you know, it's like when you're growing up and that's a pleasure that you have. You want to play. You like this game. You like the whole idea of ball, bat and, you know, hitting, beating. Placing. Yeah. Now, which art? This is which artist doesn't want to be in a place where you have the best against you. Absolutely. So I think I've always felt this way. Fantastic. Yes, people say pressure. Pressure is something that if you have a fear of losing. But हमारे जैसे जिसका टीम में जगह ही कभी पक्की नहीं थी तो फिर क्या फियर है? I'll. But you 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 held the record by the way. If I remember it correctly, you held the record of playing 99 matches straight without a CL or a PL, as we say in our language. You know, it was 99 straight matches without a break, ODI matches for India. And, and till you did it, nobody else did it. I think Kohli broke your record recently. So, fantastic. I mean, consistency of your... your, your, oh, your I, that's one I didn't know about. <laughs> your, your place in the team was always fixed. Uh, that is only in that period. Okay. <laughs> there's a period before and there's a period later. Okay. Great. Uh, you know, another thing I wanted to ask you, you mentioned, you know, we keep saying, then our bosses come and tell us that you have to grab every opportunity you get, you know, if, it doesn't matter how, when it comes, you have to stay ready for the opportunity. And with you, it was there. I mean, you should take a catch from nowhere. You, would, you know, you run from mid-off and take a catch and, and probably somewhere in deep cover. And nobody at your age or your time, you know, they didn't say, Daag achche hai, and they didn't dive around on the cricket field as you did. Uh, but you, Sachin Tendulkar and Saurav Ganguly, you all wanted to become first bowlers, right? I think you all, you, all, you all were in the MRF Pace Academy of Dennis Lilly at one time. So from being, trying to be a first bowler to becoming, you know, the three great batters that you have today, what's the transition? What's the story there? Story is simple. It's, uh, I guess, 
to put it in simple terms, it'd probably be love for the game. Mm -hmm. You may not get what you wanted because every kid in our age wanted or not. I think even today, if you see some kids starting off to play, yeah. everybody would want to bowl the fastest because that's something about humans that we want to be the fastest, we want to be the best, we want to be... So as kids, we all wanted to be fast bowlers. It's only when you... <laughs> we, I mean, of course, we all went to that MRF trial that happened, uh, what was it, 87, 88? Yeah. Uh, MRF as a company, I don't know if MRF is here, no? <laughs> Represented, no? So they had this uh, plan to have fast bowlers in India okay. because supposedly India didn't have fast bowlers. So we got Dennis Lilly to come and do it. So we... All over India, the kids were called. So anybody who was at the between the age of 14, 15, 16, till you know playing Ranji Trophy and was a fast bowler of any kind, were all invited. <laughs> so we all went there, and eventually each one of us figured out, you know, this is not for <laughs> us. This is not for us. We, I mean, you look at your dada. He still likes to bowl fast. Yeah. Even last tak aise aise karke, matlab uske heart mein to wo fast bowler hai. Correct. You know, in, in deep down he's a fast bowler. Deep down, Tendulkar is also a fast bowler because you, I, you don't get to see him in nets. Now you get practice, practice. Ka purane jamane mein you didn't see. He would come four kadam aage and you know bowl short and bouncer. So deep down, and my desire also, my moment that I really enjoy the most is my bowling moment in life. Oh. Because koi bowling nahi karata tha, to khud jab captain bane, tab to kar leni chahiye na. <laughs> so, so. So deep down, we are still fast bowlers. It's just that when you can't do it, then you say, Achha, next best kya aata hai? And those two are the greats that ended up in... You, you hold another record, if I am right. You know, taking three wickets in one over against England and winning the match for India. I, I don't think... Uh, I don't know if it's... I don't think it would be a record because there are players who've taken four or five okay. in uh, one game. But One uh, over. Yeah, but that over was uh, because for two, two and a half years, I hadn't bowled a single ball. <laughs> Captain koi aur tha karata nahi tha. Jab us din captain bana to maine karta nahi. Sir, captain banne ka fayda ki agar bowling bhi khud nahi kar sakte jab karna hai. Hai na? You mentioned Dada. We have a photo of Dada. Can we put it up on the screen? And then I'll ask you a follow-up question. Dada? Ki korte ho hai? Kaun sa laya bhai? Recently we were together? No. We have a together photo of you with someone else, but not with Dada. But, you know, by the time they put it up on <laughs> another cricketer, male cricketer, very iconic moment, don't worry. Uh, another, another question I wanted to ask you. Uh, the, oh, it's up. Who, who do you think is the, another cricketer in Indian cricket team, your time or recent times, who could have done this, something similar? I think if somebody was going to do it today, he'll have a chest waxed yeah. for sure. No <laughs> underarm hair, uh, no underarm hair, no weights, yeah. being hanging here like three, four kilos. So today's kids don't do anything without thinking. Okay. This man, what you saw, what he did, he's done amazing things as a cricketer and has become BCCI president also, so I don't know how that he managed. But <laughs> to, to his credit, what I'd give is this man lived the way what you see there, that what he felt at that time, he said, yaar, ye kar lo. Soj ke nahi karta tha. Jo feel karta tha, wo kiya, but I don't think aaj ke zamane mein koi ye kar paega, unless the guy has already planned it and he's got his PR team ready <laughs> with the whole campaign going. You know, what is the campaign? Where are you going to put it? So then it'll all be, you know, waxed chest, no weights here. There'll be some emblem or logo that sponsor will have. So, <laughs> I, and not just that, I think even the people in that photo, I think, don't think these are now possible. This is, this is pre-technology days. Now I doubt that anybody would do it. And if there was somebody who would do it, let me think, who could do? Virat Kohli? You think his wife will let him in the house? You think he'll be allowed back into his house after this? <laughs> huh? If if his wife doesn't mind, then maybe. And that's a better body to show than this one. This one, of course, any day. <laughs> no offense huh, to Dada's, but Dada is Dada. Yeah. Great. You touched you touched on this, and I like you to go a little deep. You know, most of the times we are not being picked by ourselves as leader. Yeah, of course, we lead our lives, we lead our daily 
uh, routine and however we live, you know. And we are all leaders in our respective ways. But again, leading a team, being in a position, maybe when a CEO goes and resigns, there are many CIOs here in this room who felt that, yeah, I could be the next man be becoming the CEO. But as you said, you know, the international office rights and somebody else is picked. Happened to you also. I mean, you, you, each cricket chronicler at one stage said that Raja Jadeja is the next big captain. And we didn't have the Raja Jadeja era, we had the Dada era. How did you deal with that, that feeling, you know, that mental pressure that, oh yeah, it was so close to me, but again, all because of external forces, I could not go for it. I think what happens is, like all of us, I mean, we, wherever we are, whatever we are doing, we've spent years doing it. So you, it's almost like training. Mm -hmm. Like when you go to school, college, and the education system trains you in a certain way. Yeah. So similarly, not that cricket is away from life or any different, but it has its own system that you live and grow up with. Mm -hmm. So to start with, you know, you, have a, you play cricket and you play in the colony. Colony is going to play against another colony. Yeah. Now we are 17, 18 of us in the colony, still only 11 get to play. So it could be your brother who dropped you or it could be your neighbor who dropped you or picked you or what. So starting from there, from class team, one of the uh, stories, one of my friends who was in school, who dropped me in class seven, tells this story all the time. So there somebody picks uh, you and you class team, school team, district team, state team, and now I'm talking, still you are at under 15. Yeah. And then you go to under 17, under 19, and then you come to this level. So as a cricketer, as a human being, this is my opinion, a lot of people look at it very differently and look at it as, of course. But I think the experience that you've had over the years, you've seen somebody being dropped, you see, you see yourself being picked, somebody else being dropped, sometimes you are picked ahead of somebody. So if I look at myself and I say, I was 16 years old, Kapil Dev looked at me, and said, okay, we want to come and play for Haryana. Hmm. Now, the kid who would have not played in place of me in that year, may have looked at that same decision and said, yaar, ye kya baat hai, bahar se banda le aaya, idhar khila diya. Correct. So I'm saying, all of us have gone through this, sometimes you got the advantage of being picked somewhere, sometimes you had the disadvantage of being picked there. But if you stay long enough in this game, hmm. I think you'll only say that, you know, the, the more that I was around the game, the more that I realized that there was nobody else who made a call that why I was picked or why I wasn't. Because one thing's for sure, if you are the best player and you can win for the team, whether it's a district team, club team, state team, country team, even if you're the captain of the team, doesn't like you and hates your face, but if you're a match winner, na, he'll not mm -hmm. want you in your team, but as long as you're winning matches, you'll not be dropped. But the day you are not at your best, you probably will be the first one to go. And that, I think you should accept and take it. Fantastic. Fantastic answer. We can have a round of applause for this. Amen. So, so a good example in re relevant times I'll give you is uh, Virinder Sehwag. So Virinder Sehwag didn't field as well as the others did this, that. But yeah. when he was winning matches and he was batting, whether it was Dada, whether it was Rahul Dravid, whether it was Dhoni, whoever was captain wanted him. When he was batting, he fielding not doing anything in the field, he was The first one to go was him. Yeah. Can you imagine with a career like he had and the impact that he had? Normally you see people, you know, going away slowly, but that's when you are still contributing in some way. When you are a specialized in one thing and you think you are the best, then yes, you are the best when you are the best, but when you are, time comes to go, you are only left alone in one side. So, in this spot, if you stay long enough, you'll always be grateful rather than be regretful. Correct, correct, great, fantastic. <laughs> and, and, you know, when you become a leader, there are challenges as well, and you have to you have to deal with people in your team who are really popular. You know, you're really popular people in your team. You know, really, there are there are people that the super bosses really love, and then you have to lead that person. And he, you know, I mean, there is everything that this person does will get. For example, you led Sachin Tendulkar. So, what would be what would be your answer to it? Did you have to convince Sachin Tendulkar to go from mid off to long off, or it's just a go there, man, and stand? No, it's it's. The earlier question that I was talking about, that you know, there is a whole upbringing years that you had, and in those upbringing years, he was actually one year junior, as age two years younger to me. Yeah. So we've been traveling together since we were 13, 14. We went to England with a Kalash Gatani sir, used to take a team, a star credit club. Hmm. So from there to trials. So when you ask that question, you are absolutely right to understand, you know, in 96, how do you tell Tendulkar to go from yeah. here to there? But not only me, I mean, think of Saurav Ganguly then. <laughs> think of Rahul Dravid then. Then think of Dhoni who wasn't even born when Tendulkar was playing test cricket. Hey. So this, 
maybe is a relevant question, but I think in cricket, it is a, it is a accepted norm. When somebody is captain of that game, then it's his decision where he wants you to stand. Correct. You may have an opinion, you may want to, you know, uh, give your advice and say, no, yeah, nahi, wahan, kada kar lo. And as a leader, you should also understand that how respectful, like in a family, hmm. you don't tell your grandfather to do what you can tell your nephew to do, right? So your Absolutely. nephew will do something, so you direct your nephew in a different way, but your grandfather also you can direct, but it's a different way of talking to him. In okay. my case with Tendulkar that you're saying, is we were blessed, I'm blessed enough to have you know, played in the era that, you know, he existed for, as a child, as a child prodigy. So, you know, same era, same time, playing eight, ten years of international cricket where you saw this legend, you know, becoming that child that you'd seen, mm -hmm. being alongside there. And then actually, I think I'm the most fortunate with his case is that I saw him as a broadcaster for next ten years. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, okay. you know, I saw him as a kid. Then I played alongside him and he's still playing. So I had to then talk about him in public. Mm -hmm. So, which was a difficult task because imagine if there's a person you know, you've spent time, played cricket, he's the greatest that is, at least I have ever seen. You know, there, may, there were greater players and I'm sure there will be that you've seen. But he's not at his best. He's not where. He was when he was 16, 18, 20, 25. He's now 34, yeah. 35. And whether we like it or not, sir, Budapa is a big thing. I don't know how many people accept that or not. But no matter how much you try, there is something about human body and age that you cannot do those things what you could do 10 years ago, 12 years ago, 5 years ago, 2 years ago. So I can see that, but the love for this man is so much and you have to be the person who is going to talk about it. So how do you explain when you're broadcasting saying, you know, okay, this is not his best or he's not playing well, he should stop playing because the conversation starts, he should stop playing, he should start playing, not playing. So that was the only part that I'm always with him. <laughs> when he should stop playing is no one's business. Not just him but with anyone else because when he started playing, he didn't started playing this game and enjoyed it, knowing that he's going to be the Tendulkar that all of us know him for today. Absolutely. He loves that game. He didn't write to you that I'm starting to play. So why should he now tell you that, oh, now I'm stopping? If you think he's not going to drop him, you don't need him in your team, don't pick him. Fantastic. So that was a, another perspective that, uh, through him that I understood about this game and life, that there are things sometimes that you would like to say, but you can't say. Great. I know we can go on and on, but I think I've run out of time. Uh, I, there's a moment between you and Sachin, and I would request the team to just show that uh, photograph of you and Sachin Tendulkar together. And At the moment, you and I are together. Sachin Tendulkar. Yeah. Yeah. This is Sachin Tendulkar's last domestic match. Ajay Jadeja is captaining Haryana. And there is Sachin Tendulkar saying goodbye to cricket. This is the last time he played a cricket match. Yeah, yeah. Must be an emotional moment for I you. I very clearly remember this moment because uh, if it wasn't for him coming, I was only the coach with the team, Haryana. Yeah. So I'd been there for two, two and a half months. I was uh, work, spending time in my old Haryana team and was coaching. And suddenly we were told that, oh, Tendulkar's decided to retire. So he's going to play one first class game and it happens to be here in Lali. So I think it was a blessing or I see again now like I said you know in life if you stay with this game it gives you enough moments so here we are starting our careers in the same year in Ranji Trophy yeah I mean there is I'm not trying to compare or I'm not even trying I'm just saying how blessings happen to you so he starts in Bombay 88 I start in Haryana same season same we play our lives go on and then I'm not playing now I last played was 2008 was the full season I played in Rajasthan and for five, six years, I have not played cricket. I'm just coaching, I'm talking, I'm broadcasting. And here I am on his uh, last game that was the most watched game as domestic game would ever happen. Yeah. Uh, I get an opportunity and we, you know, uh, face off. There's no face off with him. <laughs> and even at the end of the game, I said that, you, you know, we should have won that game. We ended up losing because this man can never be beaten. Yeah. And I said there also, I said, you know, how can you fight God? If everybody thinks he's God, then... You can't fight God, and, but 
you are blessed if you are around God, and I am grateful for just that. And if he is God, then Ranji is Devta. Oh, that's a great, that's a great note. Oh. Religion began there. <laughs> Fantastic. I mean, while we walked to the hall, there were so many people saying, "Sir, oh, Pakistan wala match. Sir, oh, Pakistan wala match." So please, yeah, let's see that Pakistan wala match. Usme hai nahi kuch dekhne ko. There are, there are two. There was a gentleman who was from Singapore. Not this one, not this. This is the lovely catch that Singapore he takes. Singapore who said he was there at This the is game. also a World Cup match, by the way. He's taking Allen Borders' catch. Iconic moment. That is the greatest moment you can have as a cricketer. Wow. Then let's see the moment, please. Don't, don't stop it. Is I'll it? tell you a story. I mean, I'll explain that. Not this one. Ye to, not this one. The, ye to sabko pata hai. Iske to story to... This is a... That other moment. Yeah. It's not, not this one, so I'll... Uh, that the video, the video that we played. Yeah, continue with the story and then we'll so, see the video. It's year 1992. Yeah. I'm 21 years of age. I've always wanted to play the game of cricket. I'm blessed I've been around Kapil Dev in his ranking. The first oh, time shot. I ever won a cricket team. No, not, not, not this one. <laughs> so, so first time I go on a cricket field representing India. And what is the first thing that gets written on your name? Caught Jadeja, bold Kapil Dev, who was a batsman who gets out? Alan Border, the highest Border. scorer in test cricket till that time. So on your day one, you have all your dreams happening. So that's your first catch, that's your first match. Bowler is Kapil Dev, there can't be a greater cricketer than Kapil Dev ever to be born. And in those days, the highest scorer in the world was Border and not Sunny Bhai, you know, he yeah. had taken. So, so moments like this also you can enjoy and cherish and you know feel good about and be happy about it. So the game gives you enough. It's like life. I mean, when you work morning to evening in an office, somebody who works hard, I'm sure, throughout his career, at the end will always get something back. Great, great. You mentioned Kapil Dev so many times. I mean, uh, do you think Indian cricket still misses a Kapil Dev kind of an all-rounder? And and is there? Because I, I remember clearly you telling this story where cricketers are often forgotten, you know, for cricketing reasons. But there are hardly a few that we remember and we miss. Not because you're a fan. Of course, if you're a fan of a Sachin Tendulkar, you forever remember him. But while watching a cricket match, you don't miss that person. Probably Kapil Dev is one such person you miss while watching or commentating on a cricket match. Yeah, if you watched Kapil Dev, only then you'll understand what, why you still miss him or why would there never be another one. Somebody who hasn't watched that era or wasn't around. Because what you have to understand is Kapil Dev is not just the number of wickets and runs and, you know, you were talking about my generation diving and athleticism and catches being taken. Athleticism of Kapil Dev when he just ran on a cricket ground was totally different from the generations before that. So it's not... So that is why I feel, you know, you will miss because you can't do the same thing again, sir. I mean, people will come and score more runs, people will come and score more wickets than every other player. But there are some things about certain players that you will uh, always uh, miss. The favorite moment that you, you mentioned. Yeah, because it's a day one, it's, the, it's like first date. Uh, has anybody forgotten their first date? <laughs> first day in office, yeah. yeah nobody forgets. Yeah. And this is Brisbane? This is Brisbane. This is the first, I mean, it's the second match on the scorecard because the first match that I played for India only lasted for four balls. <laughs> it was washed out. Yeah. So, I never got onto the cricket ground. But this was oh, brilliantly the first caught. Absolutely magnificently caught by Rudolf. The Deej are coming in there and what a catch that is. RJ Jadeja coming in from mid-off. Now, you have a look at this. Brilliant, brilliant. I mean, this is absolutely amazing. And your reaction was quite, you didn't get very ecstatic after taking that catch. If I would have taken that catch, I would have taken my clothes off. Probably. We, had no so <laughs> we had no social media in that time. Oh. What was the ex <laughs> plus, plus, I didn't even know that it was caught on TV because before this series, there was black and white. Yeah. And there were only two camera matches. So how do I know what it looks like today? It's a day one that I am on a cricket ground with multi cameras and colorful that has happened. So, Correct. I think we were blessed. Our generation is probably the most blessed. Hmm. Because players before us were much better fielders. They were much better bowlers, batsmen also, they were there. But the technology, since we are here at the technology, wasn't available for the broadcasters to be able to show to the rest of the world that how 
great these players were, or how brilliant they were, what skills they had. I mean, pre when we played, there was only one camera from one side you saw cricket. Ustaraf se jab bowling hoti thi, you didn't even see samne se is taraf se jo hoti thi. So there was a period like that. So we were blessed that all our skills, attributes, you know, good looking, not good looking, poking the nose, or you know, even you caught on the wrong time, happened because of the technology that came around in the game. So everything got, you know, exaggerated, enhanced. So it looks like, arre, ye jamane mein sabse achche fielder the, ye jamane mein achche batsman mm -hmm. the. I don't think. I think the generations before us, like they say with everything else, they paved the way. They were the leaders of showing you what is possible. Correct. They were the inspiration that you know you were talking about. That how do you get inspired? You either get inspired when you see something. Yeah. Or even when you hear it, actually you have to see it. When you hear something, you imagine it. So I always believe that unless you see something happen, whether it's literally seeing it or hearing it and imagining it, uh, there is no inspiration. Absolutely. So we were all blessed to have had uh, seniors in the past. Yeah, round of applause for yourself. I mean, you have made cricket look beautiful, much more beautiful than we used to look before. Uh, last question that will come after this video that we see, we wanted to end with with pressure and handling pressure, and this has become a significant factor. You want well, to get serious now? <laughs> no, not at all. So we'll see that they, they have been getting bored for since the morning, all serious conversations. <laughs> Ning, I, I'm sure are you, are at the you end bored? of the day, you don't want to hear any serious conversation. Are you bored? I might lose my job. Please pay some mercy. Are you bored? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, can, we, can we see the video? Yeah, actually, I'm giving them a tough time. I'm just saying, can we see the video? And they have no clue which video, what time. But sorry, guys, but thank you. Yeah. Basically, he just wants all of you to look at the screen so you can look at him. Exactly. It's my. He's made sure that, you know, everybody gets clued to the screen. And I think we should have the sponsor. There you go. Well, what a good shot that was, too. Well, Wakar is bowling at just the right pace and just the right length for the drive on the up. This is such a good batting wicket with nothing happening off. Listen to the occasion here. He's a sparring partner. Sparring partner. Thank you, thank you. You know, this is India versus Pakistan. This is World Cup match. This is a packed stadium. And he, when he walked into bat, I think it was 202 runs that India was betting on. Uh, thanks to your knock, India had the record of never losing to Pakistan in a World Cup match. Talk about the pressure of playing India versus Pakistan. And talk about now listening to Sunil Gavaskar and Tony Gray commenting on your betting. Oh, it, uh, it, I mean, it's so old that I can't even remember. But as you saw in that conversation, yeah. What is very important is a lot of uh, people don't know that, yes, you look at that day of these two people, who, because wherever we are at that stage of our life, this is year 1996. But the first battle that started between him and me is in 1989. Oh. So we went to Pakistan as an under-19 Indian team, and he was part of the Pakistan under-19 team. Unknown, nobody knew his name or what he was going to be. Nobody knows where we are going to be. So there is a respect that actually we have with each other. I know, you know, it is not a popular line to say because when you say Pakistan, how can you have anything good to say about Pakistan? But I can only talk of the experience that I've had. So I had two, two and a half months in Pakistan in 1989 as an under-19 player, under-19 India. So he would get me out there, we would have got runs there also. It starts there and it just carries on. Then we play against each other wherever in the world we play, in England we play. So for me, there has never been any animosity, to be honest. Because as a 19-year-old Indian or a 18-year-old Indian or an 18-year-old Pakistani or an Australian or an English, I doubt that at that age you even understand politics and geopolitics and what is anything. What you admire as a cricketer or as a sportsman or even as your company guys, if you have a competitor at, on the other table or on that same table, who can beat you 
the most important thing is not from where he is or how he is. You want to, you know, be better than him. You want to beat him because in a sport that is how it is. And every time you cannot beat him, I think your respect only goes higher and higher and higher. So for me, this was the only day mm -hmm. that I beat him. Every other occasion in my life, this damn fellow got me out. <laughs> so this was like sauce on arki, ye ek lohar ki pad. Wow. And, and it has almost become like, you know, like I said, ke kahi bhi jao, sida yehi poochte hai. Ke acha yaar, us din batao kya hua. <laughs> so I was telling the gentleman, he said he was there at that game. I said, I want to meet those people who were there that day because I have no clue. I was inside. What mm -hmm. happened? You saw from outside. You tell me what happened. So it is a moment in sport when you are long enough, like I said, you get moments. Because if you could do it every time, and there are a lot of people who may disagree with me and have lots of people who talk like that, and you do this, this, and it happens. Then Sachin Tendulkar shouldn't have taken 700 games to get 100, 100s. Absolutely. He should have done it every time. It doesn't happen. It happens more often to people who are better, more often to people who worked harder, more often to people who are nicer. But it still doesn't happen every time. And you are blessed enough that if your life ka in your career, I mean, this is sport has been my career, in your entire career, if there is one day, everybody has your best day. Can you imagine how lucky can you be that it happens to be in a World Cup semi-final? India and these teams have not played for so long. They never let you win because you, what you're forgetting is in the 90s, we generally didn't beat them. They used to beat us. That Javed Miyada, till the day he left, was a pain. <laughs> you know? so, so in that game, I talk about this game in a whole different way. I have a whole talk that I do. I don't talk about my batting, but the best moment in that game is when I ran him out because that's the last time he ever came on a cricket field. Wow. <laughs> Because kids who grow up, we remember 86, right? What happened? From that damn 86 till the day he left, till he got out, you felt that he was to win So I'm just blessed to be in that time. And uh, I'm uh, not an anti-Pakistani person Absolutely. or anti-anyone person. I, in fact, love them. In fact, a little earlier when we were outside and somebody asked the same question, I said, you know, I don't know, looking at last one week, to say because, you know, you know, part of this country, partition, whatever, politically, I have no clue what happens. But I said, yeah, I can't think in India if a politician gets arrested in a, you know, whether rightly or wrongly, public is going to go out on the roads and say, yeah, you're wrong. I don't know whether they are ahead of us or they are behind us. But the fact is that in today's time, it's So I, I have no opinion on what is right, what is wrong. But yeah. I have an experience that every time I went to Pakistan, every time I played against them, they were the toughest competitors, but they were the nicest human beings and hosts that I have come across traveling around the world. That's, that's brilliant. Can we, can we please have a standing ovation from him? I mean, he has, been, he has told us the story and it was incredible. So thank you. Thank you thank very you. much. Thank you very much. I hope. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. And, and I request you all to just give us some more moments, you know. Here's the legendary cricketer with us on the stage. We have made some of your friends play some cricket and they did really good. Watch that on the screen once he unveils the promo and I hand over the mic to you. Thank you very much, Sai. Please stay with Thank us for you. some more moments. Thank you very My much. My time is up. You've been a lovely audience. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is there anyone who is uh, in technology of R&D, of sport and data analytics and data here? Anyone around? Oh, no, no. I, I want to learn something. So if there is a company that would like to chat later or understand. Just. Ajay, before we do the promo launch, uh, will you please allow just 30 seconds from your schedule to uh, play a very quick, fun, rapid-fire round with you? Just three questions, 30 seconds. Uh, I don't have time, ma'am. I have only okay, 30 all right. minutes. Okay, you lose on the hamper. Um, oh. <laughs> Come. <laughs> all right. So, okay. Uh, we're going to do a quick one here. Please take your seat. Uh, okay. uh, the first up is, uh, okay, all guns blazing. Um, had you not been a cricketer, what would you have been? Oh. Listen, you have to listen to the question. 
she said had you not been a cricketer what would you have been yes so all the things that i've done i can't say so actor is failed actor <laughs> failed cricketer failed everything maybe politician all right okay answering with a plum the second question i have to ask this uh what is your pick up line when you start a conversation with a lady it's generally the lady who starts oh my god not surprised and for this one ajay the last stop let's decide whether he wins on the hamper can i request you to once again stand because uh, you got to show us your signature dance move for all amazing people who love you the signature do you want to see ajay showing his signature dance move okay let's go for it i mean uh, i don't have a signature move signature i don't have a pick up line Huh? You're losing on the hamper. You got to do that for the hamper at least. Listen, sometimes you got to lose to win in life. And 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 you'll understand this the day you get married. That if you're a married human being, but you unless you lose, you'll never be happy to your partner. So you got to lose to win something. All right, Thank so you. all right, but Ajay, you assumed already that I'm not married, but but we request you to remain on the stage okay. for something. Okay. Sorry, I, sorry, I presumed. I'm apologies. <laughs> no, but that was the right assumption. Okay, now here's the thing. It's. <laughs> sorry, Ajay. Oh, that's a fact. That's a fact. Okay, so we are not done yet, ladies and gentlemen. There's a cricket property for CIOs that we're going to launch, and who better to unflag this, launch this, the heartthrob, the man of the moment, Ajay Jadeja, in the house. Could you please have Ajay doing the honors of launching, unflagging this uh, beautiful? If you can just, uh, yeah, click it towards Which the one? screen. Red or green? We might not be professional cricketers, but we know how to score big in the boardroom and on the field. We may not have trained hard due to work, but we will make sure that field gets our best. We take this opportunity to connect with our colleagues and bond over our love for cricket. Watch us as we showcase our skill, score big, and have a great time. Get ready for the most exciting cricket league yet. The ET Leaders League Cricket. Coming soon. Ajay, while you are on the stage, may I please request our super amazing five CIOs who got featured in this moment to please walk up onto the stage and share this moment with us. We would request you just in 30 40 seconds each one of you could share how was the vibe like shooting for this and how much you're looking forward to this as well with the man himself uh, ajay you've been a total sport thank you for this most amazing innings they couldn't stop clapping so uh, do this so this is what you enjoy <laughs> <laughs> could we have the microphones being uh, nice given on the stage as well nice. yes hello man Thank you very much. Uh, could we request our CIO friends to please uh, go ahead and just share in 30 seconds? Uh, uh, yes. Hi. So I would just like to urge all the women CIOs to use their uh, leadership skills that they're using right now off the field to come and play and use it on the field. <laughs> It's been actually a wonderful occasion. Uh, the first time. Uh, in front of the camera and recording so it's an amazing experience and i would urge everybody to participate wholeheartedly and support the etci cricket team thank you see i keep on shooting a lot about this ads you know but this was was something special they told me you have to come to the field wear the dress 
which I used to wear when I was quite young. And you know, when I was walking with a dress on, it reminded me with the child I was. And that was an experience which I thought I was missing in life. And my, and my request would be that once we start this particular game, please be a part of it. It was a great experience, really. Thank you. See, normally on a day, if you have to wake up early, uh, you know, you would do it because you have to send the kid to school or, you know, if you have to go and play cricket. So it reminded me of the days when, you know, and during the summers, you would wake up early, drop everything and just go out and play. So playing or getting to play cricket, uh, you know, in such a setting and uh, being shot, uh, you know, in, by such an amazing experience by the ET Studios team. Uh, so I think that really made it uh, like a, a double fun or a double bonanza. You are getting to enjoy it and you are getting to see it here. And nothing like comes close to this icing on the cake where uh, the heartthrob for the ladies and, and uh, the most smiling cricketer that I had seen in those eight days to uh, you know, uh, do this promo. So thank you so much. Thank you. It was real, real fun. Um, I tried my best to get him out, but I couldn't. So in that way, we are a little bit alike. Uh, but I'm no cricketer. I played after like close to 25 years. But it was real, real fun. I had a little bit cramped later, but I think uh, it would be fun to participate in this league and uh, have my kids uh, cheer me on um, from the stand. I think uh, I'm sure everybody would like to join in. Uh, I think uh, it would be great. Thank you. Um, just uh, one small, uh, uh, you know, gift uh, from all of us here uh, oh. from the. This is uh, not necessarily the number that you are wearing, mm. but uh, announcing the launch of this league uh, by your noble hands. So thank you so much for joining us here. Hope you'll we'll get to see you during the league as well. Surely, if if there's cricket around, I'm generally around somewhere. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, and I thank you all for this lovely evening. And I hope this initiative of not just competing on your boardrooms and competing on a cricket ground that has been created. I hope you enjoy this as much as you are enjoying the moment that you've had today and for the next few days. Thank you all for being here this evening.